Hi, I'm Vincent Lafrey, a Canon Explorer of Light. In this series, I'm going to discuss tilt shift lenses with you. Canon makes four of these, a 17 millimeter, in this case here, a 24 millimeter, as well as a 45 millimeter and a 90 millimeter lens. There's traditional ways to use this, either with the shift function, where you can actually shift the lens up or down or left or right, and that actually allows you to minimize distortion, especially with wide angle lenses, very commonly used in architecture photography or videography, as well as portraits. We also have the tilt function, which can do many things with focus in terms of keeping different elements in focus on different planes and also it's a very creative use that you might know as the miniature effect. This is what I've used on several assignments to make the world, especially from an elevated angle, look like a miniature. We're going to go ahead and show you a few examples of how to use these lenses over the next three series. Let's get started. So I wanted to show you a few features with these tilt shift lenses so you're familiar with every function that they come with. So you can go ahead and tilt it up or down or shift it up or down. On the other side of the lens, let me go ahead and turn the camera around. So these two dials here will actually allow you to lock either the tilt or the shift, have different degrees of friction. So here is the shift up or down. Go ahead and lock it. And there's actually a lock button over here that allows you to tilt it up or down. At any point, you go ahead and tighten that right there to lock it in place. So here we're gonna show you the rotation button that allows you to rotate the shift function, in either a horizontal mode or vertical, or pretty much actually anywhere in between, which is really nice. And here's the lever here that allows you to rotate the tilt function. Again, either in horizontal or vertical or anywhere in between. As you notice, you can actually rotate these independent of one another, which is a really special feature with these lenses. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a typical example. Here we are underneath the Brooklyn Bridge with the East River in the foreground. Another thing I wanted to mention too is we're having an uh, Atomos Ninja recorder up here. It's actually recording live feed out of the uh, 5D Mark III. That allows us to see what we're shooting and my adjustments as we go. So we'll go ahead and uh, hit record right over here. Like any wide angle lens, if I want to tilt up, you'll notice how the entire city below gets distorted. It kind of pinches in, if you will, due to the wide angle distortion. So I have to make a choice as to whether I keep the top of the bridge in or I tilt down and have no distortion and too much of the East River in the frame with not enough of the Brooklyn Bridge. The beauty of tilt shift lenses is you can actually shift them to get the best of both worlds. The first thing I'm going to do is compose my frame very carefully to make sure I'm dead center of the frame on the back of my camera and making sure that the plane is perfectly horizontal as well. Now that I've got that composed well, that means I've eliminated any wide angle distortion. I'm going to go ahead over here and shift the lens up or down. And you'll see that that allows me now to pick whether or not I cut the bottom of the frame right at the bottom of the city. And you can see how much of the Brooklyn Bridge I can now see with no distortion whatsoever. Or I can fine tune it and shift it down a little bit more. And I can also, of course, go in the opposite direction and include quite a bit of the water if that's something I wanted to do. But for our purposes, we're going to go ahead and frame this up right here in the rule of thirds, maybe a little higher, and catch that ferry as it passes behind us. 